to my first rave last year. Oh, yeah, the one Bella invited me to? Yeah. I saw them, this, that same artist. And how did it go? Um, well, this was fun. I've never been to one, and I'm like a big person on like planning. I like to have details. So I thought it was going to be like a concert inside. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. So I wore these really nice shoes. <laughs> these white Jordans, like my favorite pair. I've worn them like three times. And they're like, why would you wear those? I'm like, we're going to a concert. They're like, dude, it's outside in the mud. It's in the mud. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to my brand new YouTube channel. <laughs> For those who don't know, because I got a bunch of DMs like, where is it? Where are your videos, Ross? Got deleted, swiped, clean, out. No, I don't have the videos. So context, myself and a couple friends went to BJ's Brew House to eat some trash food. And apparently we said the word BJ's too many times. Hopefully this doesn't get flagged. I woke up one morning to an email that they removed my channel. So I sent it to Jill. She went like DEF CON recon mode. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so she was chatting with like the agent or some dude at YouTube and they were like yeah you're selling porn I'm like <laughs> what yeah you went to this you're selling porno stuff I'm like no we went to a restaurant called BJ's yeah I don't care it's porn to me <laughs> so they deleted it just like that like what the fuck so we lost all that hard work all the all those uh, videos that Jill put out she was really upset <laughs> really upset a little life update I am back in New Braunfels for the time being. I lived in Austin for the past like year. And this is my cafe in New Braunfels. It's called Gaines Bakery. Myself and Elena opened this place up in like 2016. And we made the best suit in town. It was freaking delicious. And then I left 2020 to start Flavor Gang. And I haven't been back. And lots of shit happened that I have to undo. Uh, and that's why I'm here. So we closed down during uh, the Christmas break. I changed the layout, redid the menu. We're doing you know, weekly rotated menus, very small stuff, uh, small menu, and really, really delicious things. Um, so today we're doing like a little day in the life of me, sauce boss here. So you can't be perfect. And bodybuilding is very much like, like investing in the stock market. You're gonna have really bad days or really bad months where you're in the red, but then if you do everything you're supposed to over time, that snapshot of the whole year is gonna be this way. But if you if you focus on just a month, like you may have a bad month, but if you zoom out, you're gonna have a great year. So it was not a good bodybuilder today. Actually, this whole transition, I have like three days in a row, I didn't hit my step count. Missed, I missed cardio yesterday, but that's not my norm. So uh, if you're doing that, recognize that's happening and then just don't go backwards like too much. Just go forward, wipe it off, uh, shake it off and keep going. So today um, I'm just gonna back up some food. I am going to make a little experiment. So everything I do is sort of experimental stuff. So I've never made a lot of the stuff that I make here which is cool, it keeps me entertained, it keeps the flavors interesting. We're gonna do this Korean, um, almost like a take on a Korean short rib. It's gonna be a slow cooked dish with some uh, beef, onions, some red pepper, and our, our Korean barbecue sauce. Fun fact, if you guys follow the Flavor Gang or love the Flavor Gang, that's my sister company, and everything gets made here at, in like the test mode, so, Everyone's like, oh, have you ever thought about doing this? Yeah, I've thought about it and I've done it. I have a catalog of like 80 sauces, but I can't release them all at one time. That would be a horrible business decision. It would be chaos. Um, so we have a Korean barbecue. And my idea is to do a sticky rice with the pulled Korean beef hibachi aioli, which is going to be our Mutant 2.0 sauce that's coming out soon. I think it's incredible. It's like a ginger aioli. That with some Asian slaw, and one of my favorite ingredients is um, fried garlic chips. They're delicious. They're like these little tiny garlic pieces, but pack a bunch of flavor. 
Um, so we're gonna prep that, and I will get, I guess, pictures or a little video tomorrow morning when it's done. Um, and I think I'm gonna make that for factory. I'm gonna do like a factory bowl just for them. Um, I have to back up, or I have to make a breakfast sauce, which is like uh, light mayo, our house ketchup, and some sugar-free maple syrup. Gotta make that real quick, it's super easy. And then I'm going to make a, a barbecue ranch sauce um, because we are a, we, we strive to be like a no waste kitchen. So if we have a leftover amount of, for say, for, uh, for, for, say, for example, I think that's what I meant to say. <laughs> for example, we have a bunch of uh, bacon leftover. So I'm gonna do a barbecue bacon ranch bowl. So I need to make barbecue ranch. And that's sort of how we do things here. And make a little small batch, test it out. Hey, should we put this on flavor gang? Yes or no? So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut some veggies. I'm gonna give you a little rundown on how to hold a knife, cutting board, how to cut onions. Uh, so it should be a little educational, a little entertainment. Uh, for the record, I'm fully clothed here. <laughs> Just have to say that. Uh, fun fact, back in the day, when I was uh, cooking here, someone in this small town thought it'd be a good idea to start a rumor that I was cooking naked um, at several points of service. So one time, actually there was two times, because they had to do a follow-up visit, the health department was called because they thought I was cooking naked. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? So, cutting board. You can see this moves. One of the most common ways you cut your finger when chopping, one, your blade is too dull and the cutting board moves. So just get a, a towel, a damp towel, one on the bottom, and now it don't move. Mind blown. Okay, we have a knife, a very sharp knife. You need to make sure your knives are sharp. The way we hold our knife is like a guitar pick. Just like this, nice and relaxed hand. We're not doing this here. We're not doing that. We're gonna cut our thumb, okay? We're not doing this. <laughs> nice and relaxed. We're not gonna use our trap. We're gonna use that curvature of the blade to do this, okay? And there's different kinds of cuts. There's this, there's that, there's doom, doom, doom. We're gonna start with a pepper. This is a classic bell pepper, red pepper. One of my favorite fruits, this is a fruit call it vegetable, whatever. Now I'm gonna show you how to fillet this in the most economical way. We're gonna cut the, the head off, we're gonna cut the butt off, okay? When Not we, butt. Huh? Not butt. Not butts, yeah. <laughs> so, the, I was reviewing a client plan just now and uh, on Excel, and sometimes like when you have words in the cell, it like cuts off. So I thought it said nut butter, but so then I clicked and it just said nut butt. 25 grams of nut butt. Um, so the way we hold our vegetables, whatever, whatever, whatever we're, we're, um, we're cutting, okay, this would, this would be unsafe. What we want to do here is we want to retract our fingers so that way our, this flat, this flat part of our finger, I don't even know what that's called, is our protection and it's also our guide, our guide. So we're going to have our knife lay flush against our knuckle base and we're going to pull it back based on how thick we want the cut. Okay, so I want to get right up on the head, just like that, okay? That's one, two, and then three, right down the middle, okay? I'm gonna push that blade down and lay that blade right up against that rib meat and repeat the process. So usually those peppers are full of seeds and it makes a mess. So now, we just have the beautiful meat. This right here is not trash. Okay, we're just gonna cut that up. So I'm going to show you, for the dish, I just need to slice these peppers. But for the educational purposes, I'm gonna show you how to do two cuts. So the first cut is called a julienne which is fresh French for like strips. So again, I'm gonna use that base of the knuckle and pull it back just like that, okay? And I'm gonna get into a nice rhythm. 
make sure, making sure my thumb is always behind my pointer finger. So like this, not there. Fun, fun fact, I don't know if you can see that. I have this nasty scar. Um, first day of prep for California, I was cutting and talking to someone and that thumb left my, my, uh, my pointer finger right there. Okay, so I'm gonna Julianne this up. And then if we just rotate this clockwise, we can get a dice. Like that. Again, we don't need it for this dish, but I guess dicing would be better because it's gonna be incorporated into the, the beef once I Get it all straight. Okay. And then when we're scraping, you never want to scrape with the base of the, with the sharpness of the knife. Always on the back side, just like that. So I'm gonna do this onion too. Okay, always have a waste pile here. Just makes cleanup that much easier. And for you bodybuilders, I don't consider myself a bodybuilder. I just bodybuild. You guys are dumb. You're just dumb. I love you guys, but you guys are dumb. Scissors are not the easiest way to cut things. Try to use a scissor to cut an onion. It doesn't work. Daniel would. Yeah, they all do it. All of them do it. Okay, so I'm gonna julienne this onion too. And it's gonna be like that. And another fun fact about onions, Jill, you learned this, right? The whole like, how do I not cry when I'm cutting onions? Okay, so when we breathe, don't do that. When we breathe, <laughs> I'm sorry, when we're cutting onions, the vapor gets released, okay? When you breathe through your nose, the sinuses, the, the tear ducts, I guess, or sinuses are connected to your eyes. So you're breathing that vapor and it's going right to your eyes. Easy trick, breathe through your mouth. It bypasses the eyes. I don't think I've cried over an onion or a girl in a long time. Boom, that's done. Hey, I'm gonna put this, where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna get another ball. And a little bodybuilding update, guys. I am still in my hill phase. Uh, for those who follow me, I think that's the stupidest thing in the world. Uh, I'm just on like my little maintenance phase. I'm gonna get blood work here shortly, but a little bit lax lackadaisical in bodybuilding right now. It consumed my life for the past year. Um, and pretty sure it's not healthy. Internally, emotionally, mentally. So I'm still training my ass off. Training is going extremely well. Um, especially when I'm with Cody. Strength is going up like crazy. Yesterday, two days ago on back on chest day, hit two PRs back to back to back. Flat dumbbell bench for 120. You did 130. Yeah, and I did 130. So 120, so I'm very weak in my chest in terms of like strength. So that was huge for me. Okay, next we're gonna, um, so backstory about why I'm showing you this. It's because I've been cutting cauliflower for the past 10 years and I never, never could figure out the easiest way to cut it until this morning. I was cutting like six heads of cauliflower or last night and I was like, got it. So what I would usually do is just like cut all this bullshit off and then dice it and blah, blah, blah. And now I figured out a way and I just fucking forgot how to do it. Think for a second. Huh? Think. I think this is how I did it.
<laughs> Boom. Done. Okay. So I'm gonna cut it into like steaks. Yeah, this is how I did it. Yeah, boom. Steaks, slices? Steaks, yeah, look at this. Actually, if you marinate this and put it on a flame grill, very good. Cauliflower steaks, back in my vegan days. You know, I was like vegan, plant-based for like a good bit. And I got super weak. I was like, I can't do this. Did you know there's someone in the little community here that worked on um, the Game Changers documentary? You know what that one is? It's again, one of those propaganda vegan things. Like, you, you, you don't have to eat steak. Okay. And then I'm just gonna dice this. This is not going in the dish, by the way. It's go. It's for our uh, kitchen line, for meals. And all we do is just toss it with some house seasoning and throw it in our air fryer. We have commercial air fryers. They're really cool. And a little backstory of why I think what I just did was so fascinating because I have my employees chop the cauliflower and it's like it's like 45 minutes to cut ahead of cauliflower. Now, it's done in 30 seconds. Efficiency. Um, okay, so we're not making that. That's a bummer. So we'll just make it tomorrow. But it's gonna be red peppers, onions, our Korean barbecue, slow roasted. Uh, it should be delicious. So now, should I update the people on anything else? What else is new in your life? What else is new? Uh, some things I can't tell you yet. That is secret stuff. Secret All his stuff. girlfriends that he doesn't want you to know about. He's been trying them out daily. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Oh yeah, yeah, Jill. You're gonna get me in trouble. Water <laughs> sponsored by. <laughs> I've got lots of stuff to talk about. <laughs> cricket, cricket. Water is sponsored by Project AD. By the way. Oh yeah, let's make some sauce. Right here we have our Texas ketchup. I'm gonna dump it in, and I have no recipe for this. <coughs> it's just gonna be good. Light mayo, full of seed oils. You guys are ridiculous. I think I'm a little dramatic. A, a little, you're extremely dramatic. I'm extremely dramatic. So I have to tone down my dr No. No? Maybe you need to get high. I love getting high, especially during these vlogs. I was high last time, and the time before. And the time before? At the yeah. gym? No, I uh, did a... Um, oh, at BJ's? No, I wasn't high then. Uh, I did my first little live. Oh, that's right. After your talk. Yeah, we got high down here. He yeah. goes, do you want to smoke this? I go, yeah. He goes, do you want to go outside? I go, no, we can smoke in here. He goes, you can do that? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> fucking boss here. Do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> Trevor, if you're watching this, people love your honey. He uh, owns the honey farm. It's really good. It's really good. It's the best honey I've ever had. Yeah. He sent me that and a couple like squirtable bottles. Um, I think maybe a spicy one too. So you have ketchup, I've got mayo, and <laughs> sugar free syrup. What I'm going for here is like a breakfast sauce. So think of, you know, you got a diner, you have your bacon, you have your eggs, you got your pancakes, and all kind of like marries together at the like when you get all sloppy. Um, so that's what I'm going for here. Marries together when you get all sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Obnoxious mute. Yep, we good. We good. A little sweetness. It actually put some sriracha maple in there too. Ooh, should I do that? A little hot sauce. No. Fuck myself. <laughs> Have you guys thought about putting your sauces in squirt bottles? Yeah. <laughs> we have. You think we would have done it if we, if it was possible? 
The reason why it's not possible, guys, because we make everything in-house. So like when you go to the store and get, let's say this, this is from a manufacturer. Like we manufacture our own goods, but it's at a totally different level. So we have to outsource our bottles and they don't make them for us. I love that. Have you ever thought about doing this? No, dude. I've never thought about it. Okay. That's done. This is going to go on our ultimate breakfast bowl, which is rice, eggs, ground beef, sriracha maple vinaigrette, bacon, green onions, and this breakfast sauce. And I personally have this sauce every morning. Next, I'm gonna wash this in the sink. There's so many dishes today, Joe. I didn't take breaks. A little fun fact, a little tip for you guys. This is not good advice, but it's advice. If that makes sense. So you can have bad advice. If you don't want your partner, if you don't wanna do something your partner asks for, just fuck it up and they'll never ask you again. Like Elena would always do that. I'd ask her to like make rice or something and she would just like make it super crunchy on purpose. I swear she got she'd do it on purpose. And then I'd be like, okay, I'm never doing that again. A little fun, fun tip if you want a horrible relationship. <laughs> okay, sauce number two, barbecue ranch. Guess what we're gonna put in it, guys? We're gonna put in our ranch, our dill ranch from the Flavor Gang. And this is my favorite store-bought barbecue sauce. It's Kinder's, right here. We have our own barbecue sauce, which I enjoy, but this one I think is better. I'm not ashamed to say that. I do not, however, I do, however, I do not think you can get a better low-calorie ranch than ours. Yep, there we go. Okay. Again, just cooking here. And if you guys are a fan of the Flavor Gang, we have enough ranches, like different ranches. So this, this one's called Basic Bish. We got Dirty Bish. We got, what are the, Dirty Bish, Nerdy Bish, Country Bish, all different types of ranches. Uh, the place I rented in Maryland, Recently? No, no, no. This is before we moved to. Um, before, <laughs> before I moved to uh, Texas, um, the landlords had a smaller child. Like he was probably like ten or twelve, and um, I see him one day, like outside. And he goes, "Hey, Ross." I go, "What's up?" I'm not gonna say his name. And he goes, "You guys have really loud sex." <laughs> Thanks, dude. Okay, so I got my sauces. That was easy. Um, I can't do the Korean beef. So, I think I'm just gonna clean up. Okay, new channel, new vibe, new energy. We're not gonna get taken down for pornographic stuff anymore. And I'm not going back to any restaurants that could pot potentially delete my YouTube channel. Uh, I think we're gonna do some cool stuff here. Jill had a really good idea where I get like a fast food item and I put it here, di uh, dissect it, and then recompose it to something I would make. So she brought up the new, um, the double Big Mac burger for, you know, extra protein, right? So I may make that, that's a really cool idea. Could do chicken sandwiches, could do little tacos. One thing I wanna do is, I love cheesy gordita crunches, that's like my, Thing. So we could do that. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Make a comment about you liking, about you subscribing. Um, and I can't wait for this year. It's going to be an awesome year. Lots of ups and downs, lots of challenges, lots of self improvement. I've got huge goals here. Um, I can't wait to bodybuild, but I also can wait to bodybuild.
which is like a, it's getting me excited. Like I have to, I'm excited to enjoy this year, and I'm excited to work uh, and get better. So, with that being said, shut. <laughs>